First, I'll create a virtual machine using the GCP console. In the Products and Services menu, I scroll down to Compute Engine and choose VM Instances. I click Create. I'm going to name my VM instance my VM1. I'll accept the zone that's offered to me. I'll accept the default machine type. I'll accept Debian GNU Linux 9 for its operating system. I'll leave its identity and API access the same. And I'm going to modify its firewall to allow inbound HTTP traffic. Now I click Create. Now I'll demonstrate building a virtual machine using the command line. To do this, I'll launch Cloud Shell. Let's put Cloud Shell in its own window. I'd like to put this virtual machine in the same region but a different zone as the previous one. Our first VM is in the US Central 1 region. Let's display a list of all of those zones in that region. There are four zones and they're all up. I'm going to set my default zone for new virtual machines. I'm going to set my default zone for new virtual machines to zone C. Now I'll launch a new virtual machine using the gcloud command. This command creates a new virtual machine called myvm2. Its machine type will be n1 standard 1. It'll be a Debian Linux 9 version machine and it'll be connected to my default subnet. Now it's been created. Now I'll close my Cloud Shell window. Let's refresh our VM instances display. Notice that both virtual machines are now listed. First I'll SSH into my VM2. I'll try to ping my VM1. Success. Now I'm going to log in to my VM1 using SSH. Because I've never done so before, I'm asked to confirm the key fingerprint. Now I'm logged into my VM1. Now I'm going to install a simple web server. And I will edit its default home page. In this demonstration, I'll use the nano text editor. I'm going to edit the home page simply to include a custom message. Now I'll write out my file and exit. Now let's confirm that the web server is serving my new page. I'll use the curl command line web browser. Yes, I see the message I included. 
Now let's exit my SSH session on my VM1 and return to my VM2. Can my VM2 see the message I put on the web server homepage? Yes, it can. Now I'm going to exit from this SSH session and return to the VM instances list. Notice that the external IP address is shown for my VM1. Let's attempt to connect to it. And here once again is my custom message. HTTP traffic is allowed into this virtual machine.